Jeff with Reef Dynamics, and today we're going to be talking about bio pellets. And uh, I think what's the most important uh, for me to, to convey is that before we chose to offer bio pellets at all, uh, I spent a lot of time doing research, understanding the different types of materials that were available, and um, purities and the sources, because I wanted to try to source product from within the U.S. Um, and I wanted the highest purity possible and the most effective material possible. This is a typical container of ours, a 24 ounce little container of our bio pellets and inside each one you get a little paperwork that tells you a little bit about it, how to use it. And uh, here's what they look like. I'm going to come up a little closer here. See them there? The thing that I really liked about these is that they're not uniformly shaped, they're, n they're not cylindrical, they're more of like a disc or like an oblong shape, which is really great in the tumbling process because they tend not to bundle or cake um, and compact. So this makes it uh, a really ideal, just from the standpoint of tumbling, because the shearing of the biofilm that develops on the top of the pellet is what we're trying to get out of the system, because that's the export mechanism for the, uh, the phosphate and the nitrate. So um, our bio pellets are made in the USA, and they are 100% pure PHA. And PHA is a polyhydroxyalkanoate. <laughs> it's a very long word, um, but effectively it's a pure biopolymer. Um, and it is the, the there's no copolymers, so there's no other plastics that are mixed in. Uh, these biopolymers are typically blended with other plastics to make biodegradable plastics like spoons and forks and plastics for computers and all kinds of myriad of things. Um, but the PHA I found is the most effective uh, uh, in terms of uh, its efficiency for the process of the removal of nitrate and phosphate and the consumption by bacteria. Uh, these are also ISO certified, and ISO certification is effectively uh, meets a standard of purity that is set forth um, by the government. And so, with that certification, we know that we're getting the highest purity and quality of product as well. A couple notes about using the bio pellets. Uh, one of the most important things to remember is before you put them in your bio pellet reactor, they need to be soaked. They need to be waterlogged. This ensures that they will settle to the bottom of the reactor and not float to the top and it's, it's a pain in the butt because it's hard to get them to come down because they're, they still have air inside of them. So be sure to soak them. I recommend using a small filter sock, like a nylon filter sock or a fishnet, and soak them out and you want to put in your reactor for at least 24 to 48 hours in the sump. Um, you could soak them in a cup or a bowl if you want to, but I like them being soaked in the sump so that hopefully some bacteria are already starting to attach to them. So make sure you do that pre-soak for 24 to 48 hours. Just make sure that they all fall to the bottom of the container you're soaking them in. Another common question that we often get is uh, in regards to how quickly the bio pellets need to be replaced. And the truth is they never need to be replaced because they're actually eaten. Um, what you do need to be concerned about is topping them off and keeping the amount of bio pellets in the reactor consistent. I would say that once the reactor is established, which takes about 10 to 14 days average, um, I would probably check them every 30 to 60 days, and the best way to do that is just turn the reactor off, let the pellet settle, and you can see uh, the, the delta or the difference in the original height versus the, uh, the current height. And then, like with our bio pellet reactors, which are awesome, of course, you just unscrew the jam lock on top and pour some bio pellets in the top off. Of course, make sure you pre-soak those as well. Uh, screw it back on and you're back in business. In terms of the amount of bio pellets that are required for the reactor, on our website for each individual product we have what we recommend is our ideal amount to start with. So please consult the website on the technical uh, specs tab for each product for that information. Um, bio pellets, our bio pellets, the NOPO bio pellets are available at a wide variety of retail outlets across the country as well as on our website. So if you have any questions regarding more information about what we talked about here or where to find them or how much they cost, please feel free to contact us at 707-733-3411 or send us an email to sales at reefdynamics.com. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and we hope you have a lot of success in all your aquatic endeavors.